Imagine a world without the internet. It's hard, right? The internet has become such an integral part of our daily lives that it's almost impossible to envision a time without it. From instant messaging to video calls, we are constantly connected. Now imagine a time when even a simple message took weeks to travel across the Atlantic. Letters were the primary means of communication, and they had to endure long, perilous journeys across the ocean. That's the world people lived in before transatlantic cables. Communication was slow, and the wait for news could be agonizing. These underwater cables revolutionized communication, connecting continents in ways never thought possible. They were the first steps towards the global connectivity we enjoy today. Before cables, messages traveled by ship. This method was not only slow, but also fraught with risks. This was slow and unreliable. Ships could be delayed by storms, and letters could be lost or damaged. A letter from London to New York could take a month or more. The uncertainty of delivery times made planning and coordination extremely difficult. This made business difficult and kept families apart for long periods. The emotional toll of waiting for news from loved ones was immense. The first successful transatlantic cable was laid in 1866. This monumental achievement marked the beginning of a new era in communication. It was a massive undertaking, full of challenges and setbacks. Engineers and workers faced numerous technical difficulties and harsh conditions, but the dream of instant communication drove people forward pushing the boundaries of what was possible. Their perseverance and innovation laid the groundwork for the interconnected world we live in today. The transatlantic cables weren't just about convenience, they were about progress. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing and the world was changing rapidly. Businesses needed faster ways to communicate with partners and customers overseas. Governments needed to send diplomatic messages quickly and efficiently news traveled slowly, leaving people in the dark about important events. The cables promised to shrink the Atlantic and bring the world closer together. With the cables, a message could travel from London to New York in minutes. This transformed business, diplomacy, and even personal relationships. For the first time, people on different continents could communicate almost instantly. Laying a cable across the Atlantic Ocean was a colossal feat of engineering. It was an endeavor that required not just advanced technology, but also immense human effort and determination. The idea of connecting two continents with a single continuous line of communication was revolutionary. Thousands of miles of cable had to be manufactured, each segment meticulously crafted to ensure durability and functionality. Factories worked tirelessly, producing the cable in long, continuous lengths, which were then carefully coiled and prepared for the journey across the ocean. This cable wasn't like the ones we use today. It was thick and heavy, made of copper and gutta percha, a natural insulator. The copper conducted the electrical signals, while the gutta percha provided essential protection against the harsh underwater environment. Special ships were built to carry and lay the cable. These vessels were engineering marvels of their time designed to hold the massive weight of the cable and equipped with the necessary machinery to lay it down smoothly on the ocean floor. These ships had to navigate storms, currents, and the immense pressure of the deep ocean. The crews faced treacherous conditions, often battling fierce weather and unpredictable seas, all while ensuring the cable was laid correctly. The cable itself could break, and finding the broken end in the vast ocean was like finding a needle in a haystack. Divers and engineers had to develop innovative methods to locate and repair these breaks, often working in complete darkness and under extreme pressure. Despite the challenges, the cable laying progressed. Each mile laid was a step closer to achieving a dream that many thought impossible. The project saw numerous setbacks, but each failure brought new lessons and improvements. Each successful connection was celebrated as a triumph of human ingenuity and perseverance. Communities on both sides of the Atlantic rejoiced, knowing that they were now part of a new era of instant communication. It was a testament to the power of collaboration and innovation. Engineers, scientists, and laborers from different backgrounds came together, united by a common goal. Their combined efforts not only connected continents, but also paved the way for future technological advancements. The story of the transatlantic cables is filled with remarkable individuals who dared to dream big. These visionaries embarked on a journey that would forever change the way the world communicated, bridging continents and bringing people closer together. One such pioneer was Cyrus Westfield, 
an American businessman who spearheaded the project. Field was not an engineer, but his relentless drive and business acumen were instrumental in pushing the project forward. He faced financial ruin, technical setbacks, and even ridicule from skeptics. Despite these challenges, Field's unwavering belief in the project kept it alive. William Thompson, later known as Lord Kelvin, was the scientific mind behind the cable. His expertise in physics and mathematics provided the necessary scientific foundation for the project. He developed a sensitive mirror galvanometer to detect the faint electrical signals transmitted through the cable. This invention was a breakthrough, allowing for clearer and more reliable communication over vast distances. His invention was crucial for long-distance communication. Without it, the dream of a transatlantic cable might have remained just that, a dream. These pioneers, along with countless engineers, inventors, and workers, made the impossible possible. Their combined efforts and innovations laid the groundwork for the global communication networks we rely on today. They remind us that even the most audacious dreams can be realized with determination and a relentless pursuit of progress. The legacy of the transatlantic cable is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of collaboration.